Hey guys, welcome back to Navaino. Today let's talk about three terms that we frequently use when we talk about stem cells and they are really confusing sometimes. That is totipotent, pluripotent and multipotent. Alright, so the first things first. What are stem cells? Stem cells are undifferentiated, unspecialized cell. That means they can differentiate into any type of a cell that is present in our body and we have like more than 200 cell types in our body and a stem cell can give rise to any of the cell in the body so these stem cells are not always same you know they are categorized under two types that is embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells why am i giving you this classification because you should know where you are going to use these terms you should know the classification all right so these stem cells are either embryonic or adult stem cells and as the term suggests the embryonic stem cells are found in embryo whereas the adult stem cells are found in adult tissues or in many organs now further going in detail with embryonic stem cells this embryonic stem cells can be either totipotent or pluripotent all right now let's keep this pluripotent aside for a moment let's just come to totipotent the term totipotent means it's whole or you can remember totipotent as total how it is useful you will see in a while now to understand the totipotency let's go to our fertilization process what happens we have the sperm cell which you know fuses or fertilizes the egg cell and we get zygote right the fertilized egg or zygote that is what we get so a zygote can produce the whole of organs and we know that this zygote will start dividing and it will uh, undergo differentiation process and as a result whole organism is made so this ability of a zygote that it can differentiate into any type of a cell or i can say that it makes whole organism is called totipotency right that means a zygote is a cell which is a totipotent because it can give rise to the whole organism that's where i said total it can give rise to a complete organism all right let's move on what happens once the zygote is formed it will start dividing right it will have the first division form two cells and then four cells eight cells and so on as it goes on dividing it will reach a stage which is called as blastosis stage where it is nothing but a hollow ball right where it will have a mass of a cell in the center and a single cell line in the periphery now this cell mass which we called as inner cell mass has the ability to produce all the cell types of our body right it, it all our cell types are formed from the inner cell mass that means we have like somewhat 200 plus cell in our body all those cells are formed from the inner cell mass other than what this trophoblast layer which is shown black in color is forming like placenta or amniotic sac etc so other than that inner cell mass is forming all other cell types in body and that is called as pluripotent stem cell because it is forming several you know several cells all the cells but not what these trophoblasts can form so it is not totipotent right because it is not forming whole of a thing but what this trophoblast can form it is forming all other cell types in our body and that is why inner cell mass is called as pluripotent stem cell the meaning pluri is several so pluripotent are found in inner cell mass and the examples are all the blood cells, cardiac muscles and neural cell. Now this was about embryonic stem cells, right? Totipotency and pluripotency is related to embryonic stem cells. Now once you come to adult stem cells, adult stem cells as I said it is found in many organs. That means they are already uh, kind of specified to become something right they are specialized to become one or more specific cell line if it is present in what particular organ it is going to form cell of that particular organ only so multipotent multi means many right but in this case you have to remember that multi is few because let's compare it with pluri pluri is more and multi is comparatively 
less. So in this case, multi means a few. All right, multi means a few cell type it is going to get developed in. Say for example, uh, mesenchymal stem cell can give rise to bone, cartilage, connective tissue, adipose tissue, etc. You see, the specialization has increased, specification has increased as you go down in the line. So you have totipotent, the most superior which can develop into the whole organism any of the cell then you have pluripotent other than what your trophoplast can form the inner cell mass is a pluripotent which is going to form all the cell type in the body and you have the adult stem cells or multipotent stem cells that are much more specialized to form specific cell lines say for example mesenchymal cells so that's all this is very easy to understand once you know exactly the meaning of each term and it is categorized as what so that's all for now. I hope this was helpful. Do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and I will see you next time. Until then, keep learning.